Is greenhouses the way of the future? I think it is. But, you know, I wasn't expecting anything out of this garden. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I tried. I worked with it. But um, I, I really didn't. Everything froze. But the greenhouse panned out. And so let's go into the greenhouse and let's cut some broccoli and some cauliflower. One thing is sure, the chickens eat good. These leaves on this cauliflower. These leaves on the cauliflower are just huge. But this thing is, is, is big. I mean, it really is big. You won't get them that size into the grocery store. And these leaves, these leaves, I'm trying to get it to hold the cauliflower at the same time. These leaves, if I put it at my, my wrist, it goes up to my shoulders. So chicken's going to be eating really well. So it's amazing. I hadn't, you know, planned on harvesting anything today. Maybe, you know, like I said, maybe a couple of broccoli, maybe get some this cauliflower out. At least uh, one of them. That's, this thing is beautiful. Is that beautiful or what? I know the camera probably is not giving it justice with the, the lighting and everything. That thing is beautiful. So, so far in here I have got two nice size um, cauliflower. This is the one I was going to pick because I've been watching it and it's starting to spread out. And I said, well, i got to go ahead and get it. So this one back here, I'm, I'm going to try to wait. It's starting to turn purple on the top. And these are, uh, well, I've to say Godzilla. It's the Godzilla is the broccoli. So, um, but anyways, so that one's going to be ready. It might be ready tomorrow. Look, he's huge. These, these, they're huge. I harvest one there. I harvest one there. Um, these two right here have already been eaten, and uh, that one's the one that's spreading a little bit, and that's the one I was just picking. So I'm gonna leave that one there, and I'm gonna watch it to see when to cut it. My next um, broccoli, because I'm looking at the broccoli, I don't want my broccoli to flower out, and so I'm gonna. I always like look down and see if I start seeing a little bit of yellow. So I'm not going to sit there and wait and say, hey, maybe it'll get a little bit bigger. I'm going to go ahead and cut it. Isn't that gorgeous? It's a nice size. Very beautiful. There's a cauliflower back there. And I'm just going to watch it for a couple of days. It's starting to get a little bit purple on there. So the ones I'm going to cut is this one, this one, it's huge, it's really huge, it's about as big as that um, cauliflower, at least big as one of those cauliflowers. So I'm going to harvest that one, this one, this one, this one. There's a cauliflower there, and there's a cauliflower there. Now, I think um, a possibility, you know, they might they might stay there another three or four days. I just want to watch them see if they grow anymore. Because the thing I notice is that, you know, if they're going to grow anymore, you can see signs the next day. So, I have cut five broccoli and two nice size cauliflower. They're just, they're just big. So... I still have more over here. I don't think I cut as much as I said I was going to cut, but I'm going to wait another day and see how they are in the morning time. Okay, these came from the garden right here, and these came from the greenhouse. Okay, so if I was to pick my biggest cauliflower um, broccoli from the garden, I got lots of small ones in here, but like I said, they went through that storm. Oh, one's way down there. Okay. So, this is my biggest, this is from the garden, and this is from the greenhouse. Nevertheless, 
the garden is smaller than the greenhouse. Now, the greenhouse, um, are, the rest of them are bigger, but the ones I got out of the garden are just smaller. But nevertheless, it did real good. Okay, so if I was to compare, if I was to compare cauliflowers, I had no clue I was going to get this today. <laughs> I am so thankful. This came from the garden, and this came from the greenhouse. Okay. This came from the greenhouse. This came from the garden. Because I really couldn't only get, only get this one today. Um, I did harvest a few. Um, I think a few. But most of them, just, they just had to be thrown to the chickens. And they're not no bigger than that. They're just, they're just small. And it's not, I think it's just because of that storm. They just luckily, I've even got this right here. But nevertheless, the comparison that, you know, the greenhouse made it. And the garden didn't. Is greenhouses the way of the future? I think it is. So guys, thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching. I just want to show you a little bit of comparison from the greenhouse to the garden. And show you that, you know, we went through the storm. But the greenhouse did pan out. It is producing. And the garden... You know, it, it did make some. It did do pretty good. It did good considering what it went through. But in comparison, that's a big comparison. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you on to the next video. I'm going in the house, and you know what I'm having for lunch. Thanks, guys. Bye. The truth of the matter is the greenhouse did better, of course, than the garden, especially coming through a storm.